The Word of God declares, Love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. For the love of the world, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life are not of the Father, the God of the Bible, they are of the world. And this world is passing away, and the lust thereof. But he who does the will of the Father shall abide forever. If you read the book of Psalms, if you read the book of Proverbs, you find how many references those that spoke of God declared that the righteous would dwell in the land forever. And sure enough, the righteous do not slaughter their children on an altar of convenience. Rather, the righteous, they cherish children. This place does not cherish children. You shouldn't have come here in the first place. You shouldn't have come to this place in the first place. You shouldn't have come here in the first place. Then leave. Take the woman out and leave. You just did. You just tried to talk to us. No. Like you did? Like you stayed at home? You didn't stay at home. You came out here to murder your child. Be a man. We're going to speak up on the murder baby, sir. Including your child. We come out here today to be a voice for the voiceless. To be a presence for your child. Don't hate your child unto death. Love your child. Do not continue to walk in rebellion. Do not add sin to sin. For it will make you twice as guilty and twice deserving of the flames of hell fire. Two wrongs do not make a right. Fornication and then abortion are both wrong in the sight of God. God says both will have their part in the lake of fire. Love your child. Do not hate your child unto death. Surrender to Jesus Christ. Love God. Bible declares the, the two greatest commandments is to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second is likewise, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no love inside of this building. Though it says hate has no home here in six languages, there is extreme hatred to those who are of God and those that God calls a blessing. Murder is never essential. What is essential is you getting right with God. What is essential is you make your life right with God. There is nothing worth dying and going to hell fire for. Cannot drown out the word of God for so long. God has put in each one of us a conscience where we know right and wrong. And you know that the murder of children is wrong. Leave this place of death. Have no part in the fruitless days of darkness. There is no fruit in murdering a child. The only fruit that you will gain is regret over your abortion for the rest of your life and the flames of hell fire for judgment for the murder of children. Surrender to Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ is offering you mercy right now. He's giving you time to repent. The Bible declares it is appointed unto man once to die. And after this, the judgment. One day you will die and you will face God on judgment day. Currently, you have made yourselves guilty before God for coming into this place. While there is still time, leave this place of death. Have no part in the death of your son or daughter. Forsake your sin. Trust in Jesus Christ. It will not make you a murderer. Trusting hateful women will make you a murderer. Don't hate your child. There are people out here willing to help you. This place only seeks for one purpose and that is to encourage irresponsibility where you can just go on fornicate like rabbits in heat and then come on down to the abortion mill and murder your child take care of your issue that's not love that's not health care that's hatred that's devaluing of human life 